Oh, wow, look at that. Man with the skills. Adam. Yeah, Adam's skills. This juice bar called the juice bar. I met a couple of locals, one guy who actually works there. I want to talk to him and just ask him a couple questions. So, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Abu. I work in the, the juice bar. It's the first uh, non alcoholic in Jordan. We are the best. So why do you guys have the juice bar? We don't have any store here. So, it's the first time, the first time uh, all over the place. How's it yeah. doing? restaurant that has traditional food. It's called Nepto Fakta. So I got my buddy here, Joseph. I met him as I was walking down Rainbow Street. He recommended that I try this restaurant out. So I'm gonna put the camera on him. I'm gonna let him kind of walk you guys through. Hi, what's up? My name is Joseph. I just wanna tell you about this restaurant. It's named Nepto Fakta. This is actually this is a really old restaurant. I still like a vegetarian food and uh, healthy food. So it's really cool, it's really nice. So let's go to the inside to see it. I feel like in the morning, kind of like uh, take a shot, uh, double black. Double black? Yeah. Ooh, that'll wake you up. It'll give you a really fresh. Yeah, you want to know what you want. You want to know what you want. It's really good. Yeah, right, right. Of course. Hello, my friend. What's up? What's up? What the big is? Everybody will never go on. <laughs> double black. The Russian. Black. Give me that double black. So we just ordered a couple of just small dishes, kind of get us through the night, the rest of the day. Got some hummus here. It's absolutely beautiful. We got full, which is a traditional dish that's typically eaten in the morning. Also got the classic falafel. You know, can't be in the Middle East and not eat falafel. We are here. We just, you know, this section the breakfast, the Arabic break, yeah. breakfast. Every every day. We we'll start from the tea. Nice. So yes, so it is actually the Arabic breakfast. We have it here like falafel, we have olive oil and zata, we have pool. And we have hummus, you know, hummus. And we have here the bread, it's to make it on the fire. Yeah, it's really nice, it's really cool. Everything here, we make it like a homemade. Homemade. The hummus, we make it homemade. The falafel is the same with the oil. And the pool is the same. And the zatar and the olive oil is natural, you know. It's really nice. And the bread is the same, handmade. Handmade, yes, yes. yes. All fresh. All fresh, fresh yeah. Local. Yes, really nice, really cool. Yeah, what's, the, what's the first dish we should try? <laughs> yeah, so the first things, the first thing we started. Sometimes. Yeah, it's really nice. It's with the olive oil. It's really delicious. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Some tomatoes. Yes. What's the, what's the green stuff? For? It's like uh, for the hot things, it's spicy. It's spicy. It's spicy. Yes. yes, yes. But it's not so much I like, spicy. I like spicy yes. though. Yeah, spicy the better. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, piece of falafel. So now falafel is typically just a ground up of chickpeas or fava beans. It really depends on the area that you're at. 
Let's go ahead and take that first bite. Get that beautiful cross section right there. Bite it. It's got kind of a beautiful crunch to outside crunchy, but the inside very tender, very nice and soft, very warm. Almost falafel sitting in a blanket, just keeping that nice warmth to it. Take a beautiful look at that, that color. That color is amazing. You know, I was not tired, so you know, I just want to eat it. Hand. The hands, so. I know. <laughs> do what the locals do. Let's go ahead and try a piece of this bread. Now, can we dunk the bread in the olive oil and the zaatar? Yeah. Yeah. First zaatar, fresh yeah. bread, olive oil, oil. and uh, after that zaatar. Let's get a small piece. Now you can avoid it. So we'll so. go ahead and dip a little bit in the olive oil. That way, that so that the olive oil is going to help make the zaatar stick. And zaatar is typically made up of sesame seed, thyme, oregano, and a herb called sumac. I believe that herb is pretty local to this region of the world. How is it? Good. A lot of different flavors coming at you at it's once. Delicious. The flavors kind of build upon each other, man. It's like you taste, you taste a different herb as you chew on the bread. It's delicious. It's actually been my, this might be my first time trying Zaltar. I've seen it a lot, heard about it. But this is your first time? It's my first time actually having it. Cool, you are lucky, man. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be a better place to have it. Mm -hmm. Locals in the Middle East, can't go wrong. So next I'm gonna try a piece of this fool. So I'm gonna try the fool without the bread, I'm gonna try with the, the piece of the bread. I'll mix it together, mm. I don't know, it'll be like something. Nice. There is actually, we we'll try. We will try after this. There is a fatouche, fatouche. salad, and tabbouleh. Gotcha. It's a handmade. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's really natural, natural. Gotcha. Fresh, fresh. Really nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Like and the Lebanese tabbouleh, mm. it's really nice. It's the, it's the number one. Number one dish. Yes, yeah, number okay. one. Gotcha. My mother, my mother make it like ah. really, really, really nice tabbouleh. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Well, your mom's also try it. Mm. You know, my mother is Lebanese. So. Yeah, so she knows. Mm. Nice, I like it. She knows everything. Definitely. Try the hummus yeah, right now. Hummus. Hummus. You can avoid it like. Uh, mm. Can I write it in? Yeah, it's okay. You can mix it. It's only. Uh, yeah, it's all going to the same place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, try a piece of this uh, hummus. Try a little bit of this hummus. It's got a beautiful consistency to it. Yeah. Nice and smooth. A little silky. So the hummus actually can eat it with the falafel. Eat the hummus with falafel. With falafel, it's really delicious. Okay. It's really nice. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try the hummus with the bread, and we'll try the hummus with falafel. Mm. Very creamy. Definitely taste that olive oil. Taste the tahini. Got a beautiful consistency. Very rich. Mm. My boy Joseph. Recommend that I eat, uh, try the falafel with the hummus. Yeah. Try to keep it real traditional. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Wow. It's delicious. It's really delicious. That's really good. A lot of flavors coming to you at once, man. You got this richness from the hummus. You get this nice crisp, kind of very soft texture from the falafel. That's a beautiful combination. So this is traditional. Breakfast food. Any for the breakfast, breakfast, you can, yeah. Lunch, dinner, no matter what. Yeah, and lunch, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Yeah, but it's normal. You know, a lot of people say, uh, eating everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely next time you're in Jordan, you visit, you want to try this in the morning, try full hummus, falafel, a little bit of bread, a little bit of za'atar, kind of get your day started right. If you enjoy tea, you can get a, what's that, what's it called? Double black, you can get a double black. Double black. <laughs> wake you up. Yes, as I am. As I am. When I wake up, I just take a shot of double black. Double black. So you know, get, a, get, your, get your espresso. Black label. <laughs> For your coffee. Yeah. For your coffee heads out there. And, uh, yeah, man. It's traditional Jordanian breakfast. So, gonna go ahead and enjoy this with the locals and kind of see where we go next. Yeah.
chefs make some traditional Arabic bread. Uh, look at this. So making some traditional Arabic bread. Ooh, I see it boiling up. So is that flour? Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Man with the skills. Oh. Arab. Yeah, Arab skills. Arab skills. Traditional bread making. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Showing us how the bread's kind of kneaded, um, mixing it with the flour, giving it a nice design, a nice texture. Throw it in the oven, give it a little bit of heat. This is the bread that's inside the fire. How long have you been making bread? Uh, oh my god! Wow! Look at the bread, oh. Wow, look at that bread, fresh out of the oven. Got a nice roast, got a nice uh, puffiness to it. See that steam coming out? Beautiful, man. 16 years in the game. Uh, awesome. Same game. Beautiful. Ooh, you feel that crunch? That steam coming off of it? A little bit of sesame seed, black seed. Oh, that's beautiful. So that chef has been baking bread for 16 years now. Definitely has perfected his craft. You know, it's a, it's a work of magic. It's a work of art. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, welcome and, uh, to Jordan. That, thank yes. you. And we need actually to say thanks for him. We didn't expect, uh, the, we didn't pay. Oh, really? Yeah, this is actually yeah. for welcome. Yeah. Oh, this man, actually, I appreciate it. You know, this is a Jordan, and this is actually... Hospitality. Uh, yes. That's awesome. I appreciate it, sir. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, thank it's you. It's normal in Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jordan. Yes. Nice, so yes. thank you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Thank you. So that was a beautiful meal. Enjoyed with a couple of locals. The owner was gracious enough to not allow us to pay. Um, I really appreciate that. One thing I read before I got here is that food in Jordan is a very big culture and food is really like a sign of hospitality hospitality you know my first day here seeing that is just you know it's amazing it's it's, it's definitely a reason i'm glad I'm, i came here um you know it's just a great sign that you know people really care about you and they want you in your country they want to just share and make you feel warm make you feel welcomed and you know, it's a beautiful feeling man you don't see it a lot of times especially like in the u.s you don't really see that so you know i really appreciate that so i recommend you guys definitely check this out um if you're in jordan um this is on rainbow street which is a pretty popular street down in downtown Amman. These are my guys right here. You know, we walk, I was walking down the this morning getting a juice bar. Yeah. Ran to them. Nice Just, to meet you, bro. You know, I think everything happens for a reason, so you meet people for... There's a reason why you meet people, so... And Joseph, this was, uh, this was uh, the, the uh, director of this um, short vlog. He recommended this restaurant to me. Kind of handled all the ordinance of food. You know, yeah. knows, you know, just a good guy, man. I appreciate him. So, you know, you meet thank you for a reason. You, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so with that, it's getting pretty late. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. But if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like this video, give it a like. If you got any comments, any concerns, you wanna just, you know, reach out, leave a comment below. With that, um, I'll see you on the next adventure.